So we're going to be draining and refilling the power steering on a 1958 John Deere 720. So real quick no nomenclature, right up here is going to be your um, reservoir fill. So we're going to pop that off. And then right down in front here, this is going to be your drain plug. So I'll show you how to flush that and uh, fill it up. So first thing is going to be popping the reservoir cap off. I just take a hammer claw. Push down, pry it open. You can hear the air coming out of the system there. We'll just open this to allow some airflow in there so it drains a little bit better. And then this also incorporates your dipstick as well. So we'll just leave that off to the side so a little air gets in there. So this down here is going to be your drain plug. It's a 7 eighths. So I'm just going to crack it real quick. And then we'll get a five gallon pail I'm just going to use. It's only five quarts, but this pail you can put right up underneath it. And drain her out. And then she's draining her out. All right, she's pretty much all drained out, so put the drain plug back in. Just snug her up a little bit. Now we're going to fill the reservoir back up. In regards to power steering oil, this is specifically made for use in power steering systems of John Deere tractors manufactured prior to 1960. So this is the only oil that I will ever put in my two cylinder tractors. And it's gonna be part number AF2235R. Now we'll fill it up. The capacity on this is going to be five quarts. And once you've got the amount of oil in you need, the proper way to check it is to let it sit on the threads and then pull up and see where you're at. So we're pretty close there, so I'm just going to put this back on. I'm going to start the tractor and get some oil moving, and then we'll recheck it. And we'll pop this back off and check our fluid level. Again, just rest it on there. And it looks like our fluid level is right there, so we're just a hair short. So I'll add a little bit more, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.